It's Thursday, the 18th of May, and it's day number 12. And we were here just yesterday, uh, but it, we could prove it's a different day because a white van has, has now parked, stealing the shot that we wanted to do to replicate <laughs> yesterday's shot. We're back at Bromley South. Woohoo! To the Kent. To the Kent <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> I do know it, but sure, I think. We're might going. Be what the, plan is. the first stop is to go to Sheerness. Okay. Which is the little branch on the sitting bomb. Yeah. Which also features Swale, which is the least used Kent ah. station. We're doing that branch. Okay. First. I'm not expecting anyone to get on or off. There is no one here. <laughs> the next station is Queenborough. Do you remember Seaford? In, out again. Yeah. GNS. <clears throat> In, out again. Same train. Two minutes. It's what looks like a like a mini Statue of Liberty. There is a mini Statue of Liberty here at Sheerness on Sea. I wonder why that is. But before the day is out, we will go on a javelin. That is the correct noise. You better, you've, you've raised my hopes now, Jeff. I bet, uh, we better get one. <laughs> We got 20 minutes in Dover. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Go. Wow! What? It's a castle, dude. It's a pretty impressive castle. Is it me or is this turning into a tour of castles in it, Britain? It feels a little bit like that. I didn't. Welcome to all the castles. <laughs> just come down the high street and we've discovered there is a historic trail of Dover which you can do. This is one of the stops which is St Mary's Church. It's been here for more than 400 years. Interestingly the plaque is in both English and French. Hey Vic. It's a javelin. It's a javelin. Hold on. We got our first javelin. Customised work. <laughs> See you later. No, no, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Fun, you. You're awesome. Every, everybody, everybody, wave to Mark. <laughs> we made it to Sandwich Station. Yes, you did. There's a place in Kent called Ham. So there's a, there's a junction somewhere where there's a sign saying hand sandwich, basically. If that was your job at the <laughs> Department of Transport to do that sign, well done. <laughs> the rumour has it though, is that there's a retail outlet here, which is in prime position oh, yeah. to be a sandwich shop. But there isn't. Surely there should be a sandwich it shop be done. <laughs> at Sandwich Station. We couldn't come to Sandwich Station and not eat a sandwich. What'd you get? This looks delicious. Like Tuna and cucumber. Yeah, this is mine. Where's yours? I want a bite of your sandwich. You should have got your own. 
I thought we were sharing. Come on, then. Just give me a bite. Come on, then. We have to bite at the same time. It's th it's that predictable, folks. A sandwich at sandwich station. I feel like some sort of paradox is going to open up. <laughs> a sandwich at sandwich. I'm really hungry. <laughs> well, then eat the sandwich. Carriage there. If you ever go to platform one at Victoria, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a little office down the, next to the Starbucks or something, there's an office there and you can pay a lot of money, like hundreds of pounds, to go on a, an excursion. And it's like it's Orient Express style excursions all over the place. They have a brochure, mainly during the summer. I was going to buy you one once as a birthday gift and then... Can I switch my Stonehenge <laughs> for a chartered train? So you, ra what? Rather than a free trip to Stonehenge? No, I didn't say that. You want to I take that back. <laughs> We're at Folkestone. Folkestone? Folkestone. 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 It's very misty. It is a very misty grey day. You can tell we're back by the seaside when, when the seagulls come out again. <laughs> we're back to seagulls. Did you see the... The, the ticket hall, the roof of the ticket hall. Seriously impressive yeah. ticket hall. Well done, Ramsgate. It's amazing, though. I wasn't expecting that at all. Really amazing. Really good. The outside's not so bad either. <laughs> yeah. Loving Ramsgate. Margate Station, as equally as impressive as uh, Ramsgate. We have 15 minutes to our train. Vicky's doing a Facebook Live. Can't come to Margate without getting a shot of Dreamland and the beach. near Canterbury. There's a very nice man that I met about 10 minutes ago called Dave that's holding my camera under an umbrella and we've come to here. I have to show you this. I, I admit I've seen this elsewhere on the internet on YouTube but when we knew that we were coming to Canterbury we had to come here. This is a fairly unique level crossing. There's only a small number of these in the whole of Great Britain. Come and have a look. There's a panel here. Red means you can't operate this crossing. Green means you can operate this, this crossing. And the instructions say, check that there's a green light, fully raise both barriers, check that the green light still shows and cross quickly. Hang on, what? You have to operate the crossing yourself. You do here. With this lever here, <laughs> it quite clearly says, pump to raise both barriers. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do now. So I'm having to raise the level crossing myself. We've checked and there's not a train due for about six minutes. Okay, there's still a green light. Are you good? Are you coming with me, Dave? I will come with you, sir. There's no trains coming. I should point out that this isn't like a local line. High speed javelin trains come down this line. Oh, there we go. That handle there, there we go. That's a magic handle. That's a magic handle. <laughs> And that lowers the barriers. Now I'm told there's like a pneumatic pressure in there, so if you're lazy and you don't lower it, after a while they do 
uh, themselves. And I'm really hoping that the lights are obviously linked to the signalling centre and they give you enough time. Because that took me a good minute, didn't it, to pump, to pump. Oh, a lot to, of effort to, to, went to, into to that. Crossing. One of the few crossings in England, in England where you have to manually raise it yourself. I think that's quite cool, right? <laughs> I can think of no other bit I'd rather be on a glorious spring day in Kent than stand in the pouring rain at a level crossing that I go across at work hundreds and hundreds of times a year but never thought to come and actually have a look at it. There you go. It's the wonders of this marvellous endeavour you're undertaking. In the meanwhile, Vicky has been to Canterbury Cathedral. It's really raining. <laughs> so do we know how old this cathedral is? <laughs> I don't know, you could tell me anything right now, Charlotte. Okay, quick, we should, we should make up. 1948. 19, <laughs> 19, wow. So we've come into the Marlowe Theatre, which is very cool. We have an amazing view of the cathedral and the West Westgate Towers. <laughs> so Charlotte says, and Claren says, the double decker buses used to go through that archway. They did, and it's really scary. It really doesn't look like you can fit a double decker bus in there. We made it to Canterbury West, not east. Vicky's not here yet. Um, so the very nice, very nice gentleman called Dave drove me down, held the camera there. Uh, but I'm going to have to admit that Dave, you actually work for the railway. I do. I'm so, a conductor on these here very trains. I mean, would you consider yourself like a train nerd enthusiast, or do you just love the railways? And if so, why do you love Britain's railways? I just like travelling around the trains like the railways, I find them quite reassuring that there's a, a train service that's been going for 150 years. So to wrap up without mentioning the weather, to sum up your day in three words, Vicky. <laughs> Kent! All the Kent! All, all the Kent. This is our javelin home for tonight. Thank you Canterbury. Good night. Do you want to do the obvious gag? Oh, this seat's wet. <laughs> I know, no. my bottom's wet. Oh, you can't see this, but the moisture on the seat is totally just soaked through my trousers. Oh, that's going to be uncomfortable for the next hour. <laughs>